expansion. Nothing too dark, I hope. Rot fiends. Damn things. Be sure to visit the lake west side of the map behind the palace area. Hopefully we'll get everywhere. I don't want to just do Jump the story. The I want to have a... River. You must keep searching. I want to have a right good search around in this. Not immediately necessarily, but when we uh, get going. What's that? Barrels? Only blood-soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Hmm. Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. A mutilated body netted in the water. Oh, I suppose it's washed Gotta down. Dive in. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Nice. Did I not get a? I thought that flashed up with. Yeah, we did. were attached here. Okay, in we go. Look at the water. It's beautiful. It's like being on holiday somewhere. Nice. A bit better than uh, the North Sea, but Whitby, I can tell you that. Am I, am I trapped? Joke. What else have we got down here? I'm going to stop just picking all the crap up out of habit. Linen, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is it going to make me do a pixel perfect positioning on this? A wooden spoon. Hmm, don't rush it, enjoy it. I think that's great advice. Besides, if I rush this game, I'll have to find something else to play. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I want that bit just there. Arr! Fighting. Fighting. There we go. I think that's what we wanted. Silk kerchief. Monogrammed DLC. DLC. Noble's accessory, clearly. Need nice. to comb the bank. <laughs> I'm sure it's not a, just a coincidence that the initials are DLC. Right, what else have we not not searched for? More footprints. Anything I've not got? I can hear some singing. Um Footprints. Is this just one thing I've missed? Is it a big splodge? This splodge at the end. Oh, there we go. Look, a boat was launched here. Guardsmen must have loaded the body parts onto it, taken them somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took. We should ask there. I think everyone's watching. Ah, the mysterious cloaked figure. Someone's watching us. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet. Of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. We'll make quite a story. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes. Standing by his companions, no matter the odds. Fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? You have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt. You've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. It means I we... understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. Yeah, we'll get him drunk. 
I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Tucson. A night in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I'd feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. <laughs> Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick Look of time. Look at that cute little jog he's got going on. <laughs> Look at him. Come on, to the pub. Once you have finished examining the corpse, be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta? Her Grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. Ah. We address each other by our first names in private. Never in Pomrin's presence, however. He finds such familiarity offensive. He's uh, rather familiar Come with the no Duchess, isn't he? A watering hole for traders, smugglers, boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Toussaint. Toussaint. Okay, I've been calling it Toussaint. He calls it Toussaint. He's off in. Jogging in still. I'm just going to... Oh. I was about to get the notice board. By my troth, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Not else, Sir de Peyrac Peyron. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. These sound. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish? These sound untrustworthy. No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. The beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir de Peyrac Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Milton introduced me already. Like Milton said, I've come from the north at the Duchess's behest to deal with the beast. Yes, yes, but who are you? A knight? A mercenary? A soldier? Geralt is a witcher, a master of his trade. He has questions for you about the beast's most recent victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Yes, yeah, so he said. Ask her, please, or we shall be here till winter. <laughs> yes, everyone is a little bit po poetic. <clears throat> Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... By my troth, to the point, man. <laughs> You found the body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone nearby? Did you spy anything? No, I better get used to it. At all. Not the soul around, just me. As for noteworthy, hmm, well, what did you see? But be warned, if I hear the sky <laughs> was red again, I saw a head bobbing, eyes bulging. The tongue blew and popped out. Next to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts. They gave me such a fright. I bolted to town fast as my legs would take me. Then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. That's a shame. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Russell's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were gallivanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Who is that? Who was that? Woman who just left. Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in either. Oh, I did. Douglas Linnis, the innkeeper's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable. 
It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Russell now bunks with his brother in Vicar Faro. I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have defined that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. Ah, uh, nothing's ever as good as it was in the good old days. Not even knights, apparently. So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. Why, you insolent. Give him a slap. Talk. The duchess traits in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, Geralt. It's rehashed street preacher Codswell. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. Yeah, what else do people say about this beast? They say anything else about the beast, besides it being a messenger of the gods. The two Saintois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Peggy monster. Really? I wonder why that is. Because people will be drunk? Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Man, you I... Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tawny grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah, duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Velen. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. I can well believe it. A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Milton, and good luck. Okay. We're off. I was going to say, I, 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 wow, look at that fire. That looks good. It's probably not just Saints Days that people uh, get drunk. Around. It would be any day. Gottfried and the Chessboard Knight. Will I upset people if I tell that? Oh, hang on, there's something else to read there. Summons from Duchess and Henry. Oh, okay, yes. We've, we have read that. The last day of the tourney had come, it was now clear Gottfried would tilt against the mysterious Chessboard Knight in the joust. Gottfried was the ducal champion at the time. So all were counting on his victory. No one knew a thing about the chessboard knight, except that he had come from the south in dark armor, and had a shield bearing 64 black and white squares. When the herald trumpeted the signal, the knights charged at each other. Gottfried's lance shattered against the chessboard knight's shield, and the mysterious knight swayed in his saddle. No mere mortal could have survived such a blow, yet the chessboard knight did not fall from his horse, but instead struck a blow of his own on the next pass, knocking Gottfried to the ground. The victor approached his defeated foe, stuck out his hand and helped him stand. Before the herald could announce his victory, he took off his helm and all beheld his eyes of coal and face of burnt cinders. I have come from a long time past to remind you of humility, which is a long forgotten virtue. My name was consumed by dragon fire when I perished, victim of my own pride. After saying these words, the chessboard knight rode off. No one stopped him, yet they repeat his warning to this day. That's a cool little story. Oh. <laughs> okay, anyone here to talk to? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. A bard? How do you do? How do you do? Nice to meet you. Right. A hair pate recipe. Free the hair of its skin and massage its flesh with your blade till small bits remain. Slice up the back of a fattened pig along with a handful of carrots and perhaps a parsnip and an onion. Throw the lot into a well-seasoned cast iron pot along with some diced bolets. Add bread to the broth until it's so thick your spoon stands and give it the best stir you can. Stir half a dozen eggs into the slop and mix it thoroughly, along with some ginger, salt and marjoram. Rub some fat back on a pan till it's nice and greasy. 
Then pour the mixture in the pan and put it in the hot oven for the time it takes to recite two litanies to Saint Pledgemond. By then the patty will be golden brown well baked. I thought there might be some like cryptic clue or something important to read in that, but uh, maybe not. Getting hungry after that? I'm going to be hungry later on. I didn't have time to eat before the stream tonight. I encourage you to try our faint fisherman's chowder. But alas, we are all out of crayfish. Could replace them with something else. Perch, for example. Replace crayfish with fish? I beg you. What next? Vinegar for wine? Parsley for thyme? Huh? Your noodlings are a pleasant lot, but about cuisine you know nothing. Yeah, if we were in any doubt whether these people were supposed to represent the French, that doubt has now been removed. <laughs> in the local, indeed. Right then. Oh, for some Gwent. Let's see what he's got to, to sell Show first. Me what you got in stock. Gwent cards? Gwent cards. That's what we want. Swears. These are Nilfgaard cards. Never heard of any of these. New ones? Well, probably new ones just for this expansion, I would imagine. Oh, hang on, hang on. Now then, I'm always... There's the uh, Cherry Cordial. I'm buying all that. That's what one I'm always, always running out on. Redanian Herbal. I don't think I'm going to buy all that stuff. Was that one? Oh, I'll take it. It's not a lot of money. We'll leave the wine. Did I want that? I don't know if I'm going to do much more alchemy, but I thought I'd stock up while I can. Gwent. Gwent time. I am... Oh, it's been so long since I've played Gwent. I'd to taste your famous fisherman's chowder, so maybe we could play some Gwent. He likes the idea of that. Northern Realms? Let's go with it. Who's he playing as? Who the hell is that? Gauntro Dim. Oh my god, I don't want all those. I don't want all those in my hand. I want them in my deck. Oh, that sucks. Right. We want one in my hand to pull the rest out of the deck, right? Yeah, because it's in the deck. So we draw that. We draw that one. Oh, there's old uh, David Beckham. Come straight out. Right. Who we got here? Ah, the cow card. Just remind me what that one does, can we? When this card is removed from the battlefield, it summons a powerful new unit card to take its place. I, yeah, I've got one as well. Um, would be quite good. What's his leader? Crack and Crate. A king's got to be wise. A king's got to command respect. Shuffles all cards from each player's graveyard back into their decks. Okay. Oh, into their decks, not back into their hands. Okay. That stops medics and stuff being so useful. What should we get out there first? What do you reckon? A spy? Let's go for a spy and see what happens. We've even got different Gwent music, which I've just noticed. A young berserker. Is this a Skellige deck? Oh, yes, it is. It even says he's playing a Skellige deck. Right. What did I get? Nothing too exciting. What's his ability? Adds plus one to all units in the row. Hmm. Not sure what I want to do here. Let's play... Let's play something soft. Don't think I want to throw this away just yet. My opponent's passed. Well, I should win the first round then, in that case. Um, I don't want to play anything too clever. I'm going to have to. That'll, that's actually worth 12 points. I think I'm going to have to play him to win the round. I get a card back anyway. You always like to lose the first round, unless it's an easy win. Ah, so that's what his... Nice! I've got a dragon card. Um, but first off, I'm going to play a Scorch, because my Scorch often isn't that useful. Get rid of that. Because I often have high-powered cards myself, so it burns my own cards out. But that's pretty nice. You want some. I'm going to play Gauntro Dim. 
Boom. There you go. Nice 12 pointer. Music's pretty cool. Scorch. I got counter scorched. Damn it. Um. I was just suddenly wondering if I played a medic now, would it draw? Because I get to play one from the hand, but it won't draw cards from the graveyard, will it? So if I played Gaunt, throw Dim back again, it wouldn't pull him back. I don't think so. Let's put that in there. These are cool. I haven't seen these these ships before. So what's Skellige? Are they high on ranged cards or something? I'm going to trigger that. Oh, they've only got four cards left. I should win this easily. That's cool. Let's go and play. Let's play a Vernon Roach. Big score. Keep playing. Get him to burn all these cards here. Well, it looks like everything's coming out. Uh, go on then. Another hero card. I think we're just going straight for the win. Oh, nice. Unfortunately, it lets me do that. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. Uh, let's also see. My opponent's passed. I'm going to win this, but I want to see this medic. I don't think this is going to do anything, but... Doesn't draw the others. No, it doesn't. Good. That's that confirmed. Cool. First game of Gwent in weeks. That felt good. I hope we find some really good, tough opponents to play. I guess I was wrong. Must be a one-off. Clan Drummond Message Shield Maiden. The back, signed by a certain Count Monier. Invitation to a tournament. Interesting. Oh, I see. You play that and it starts a Gwent quest. Excellent. Um, did he have any rumours to, to, to offer me? Greetings. What do you need? Just that one. Got any gossip? Fisherman talking about anything interesting? Yes, about a Nortling who would replace crayfish with pike. It was perked. That's a serious question. Hmm, and a tactless one. I do not if struck on my clients, and I certainly don't repeat anything I chance to hear. A good innkeeper always has his ear to the ground on what's going on. Always. Thanks. So long. Right, okay. Was that an offer? <laughs> Swilling wine and rolling in the hay? Sounds like quite a good life to me. What did he just call me? She just called me rather. Grey haired shit. A gnomish whetstone. These are all new things. Excuse me, madam. Right, let me get out of here. And to the notice board. If we can. There we go. So what's what's that? what's occurring? Wanted the White Wolf, the Witcher Geralt of Rivia, known as the White Wolf, is wanted to serve as a guide. His potential employer guarantees an ample wage for this unusual contract. For more information, he should go to Count Belladil's temporary base camp in Toussaint. Toussaint. I, I still think it should be pronounced Toussaint, but if the if the voice actors are calling it Toussaint, who am I to argue? No, we kindly request all of the persons not present themselves at said camp under the pretense of being Geralt of Rivia. Uh, Count Belladol was not born yesterday. Can easily tell who is a witcher and who is faking it. All those journeying to his camp in shabby costumes with wooden swords strapped to their backs can save themselves the trouble and turn back. I think we'll take that one. Calling all knights errant and other strong men. The duchy needs you. Your aid is required. Bounteous rewards are in the offing. More details available at the Ducal Carmelengo's offices on Knight's Dormant Square. The Office of Internal Revenue hereby announces a limited live auction to be held regarding the sale of a piece of developed real estate and accompanying agricultural land located in the Caraberta Woods region, having been left to the Ducal Treasury by the late Count Crespi, who departed this world without any heirs. Due to the unique nature of the Belgarde estate and its important role in the production of wine, bringing great fame to the Duchy in all corners of the world, only subjects of the Duchy of Toussaint shall be allowed to participate in the auction. 
To all Knights Errant and other such men of arms, be it known far and wide that the services of voluntary keepers of the peace shall be needed. Minor problems are expected to arise during the transfer of the above-mentioned real estate, and said problems for their dissolution could require the application of direct physical force. All volunteers are asked to report to the field office of the Procurator General of Toussaint near Plegmund's Bridge, that is to say, to the place where the auction shall be held. We've got some work, we'll do that. Uh, to a witcher or witches, the Beauclair Cooper's Guild is seeking individual or individuals willing to escort a merchant convoy through an area threatened by the Great White Terror. More information can be obtained from Gaston Le Gaff at the merchant's camp in the forest to the north of Coronata Vineyard. Maugrim Pulan, Undersecretary for Threats and Risk Management of Beauclair Cooper's Guild. And this stuff, every journey begins with this first step, take it at the cockatrice. My dog's gone missing, white with a black patch on his eye, answers to Spot. That is, he comes running when I call him Spot. <laughs> if you find Spot, bring him to the cockatrice in, the innkeep knows me, Spot too. Ducal clerks looking for help. Could Lots of stuff going on. Made. Okay, so... We've got stuff going on. Do we go straight for the quests? I mean, what's that one up there? That is the Wine Wars. I guess we, we're going to follow the... I think we're going to follow the main quest to start with. And just see where it takes us. Right. The sprint button is on a different button to the, uh, the vampire one. So if you see me jumping a lot, that's why. This looks so nice. New quest, Big Game Hunter. There was, I think I remember seeing, one of these just here, so we'll get this on the way. Holy crap, what is that ugly looking thing over there? Is this a job for a witcher? Oh, it's a monster nest, what the hell? What? There. Hell, that's going to blow up, right? No? Some sort of massive garden flower pot thing? Wait, I think I need to kill that thing. I'm getting my ass handed to me here. Well and truly. Take some more dried fish. Whoa, 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 I'm getting poisoned here. Nastily. That's maybe not the right thing to do. Maybe I should have quenned that. Right, knock that thing down. So there's... Well, I'm dead. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Hey, World of Cringe, how was my day? Uh, kind of frustrating. I, I spent too much time trying to... To, to troubleshoot a problem in Elder Scrolls Online, uh, which turned out to be nothing to do with the game. Use the damn horse. You missed so much on horseback. Besides, it was only over the bridge. Uh, but other than, other than the ESO thing, cringe, um, my day wasn't too bad. Did I give up on Vampire? No, I finished it, Shamrock. Finished it in the last stream. Eight. Every last NPC that was remaining looking for help. in the, um, good coin to be made. in the place. Every last one. A lot of them had disappeared because the city had gone to shit. But uh, those who remained, I ate so I could take on the last boss. We're going back down there. That was a very interesting looking beast down there. That's the only way to end it. Well, I got to the point, I, met, I went to meet the last boss. And it was ten levels higher than me. And it, it just hit me for insane amounts of damage. And my attacks did next to nothing against it. Uh, so I had pretty much no choice at that point. At that point in the game, I had no choice but to go back and eat, eat everyone to try and get the XP built up. Um, and it was...